Wonderful good morning. That's me here and that's my camp. My tent over here. I even got a stick over there where I could put my clothes to dry. All the mosquitoes are gone so yeah now I can really enjoy this place. The plan for the day. First I'm gonna check out uh, a big store here right in front of the colony that's where the Germans or the people from here they sell a lot of products there and yeah I want to check out these German products Pero todavía hay uh, nuevos alemanes de que viajan aquí o no? Eh, suelen venir turistas Turistas solo? Sí, pero, pero de alemanes queda mi cuñado que ya es un hombre grande, viste? Sí. Y está medio mal de la vista, por eso no, no anda mucho. Ah, ok, ok. Y es el único acá en la zona que está quedando en alemán. Ah, ok, ok. Entonces, y, la y gente... mi suegra era Ningle, también es suiza alemán. Ah, sí, 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 ok. Claro. Entonces, hoy en día la gente no puede hablar alemán. En alemán no. Más. Ah, ok, ok. No, 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 no ya no, <risa> ya no, no habla nadie acá en eso. <risa> A la ruta es una gran tienda de alemanes también, ¿no? Sí, sí. sí. Entre comillas, porque... <ríe> si vas a probar lo que hay alemán ahí, mirá que a mí me tocó con mi suegra aprendí la cocina alemana. Ah, sí, ok, ok. Y... ¿Y, y allá la, se venden las cosas que producen acá? Eh, depende, ¿viste? Porque vos te vas a dar cuenta si tenés la cultura encima te vas a dar cuenta que hay cosas que ellos venden que es muy procesado, no es ah, sí. ni hecho casero, ni comprado acá en la zona, porque antes había mucho el tema de, ¿cómo? de que la gente ordeñaba, hacía los quesos, hacían los ah, postres sí. yeah. y ahora todo eso se perdió ¿viste? O sea, mm. no hay no hay nada de eso sí. pero obvio, te va a querer vender así que te va a decir que sí <laughs> que, sí. que está hecho así. Ok, gracias. Bueno, Buen día. Gracias. Qué linda moto. Gracias. What a lovely lady. I'm gonna check out the store. Alright, that's where we're going. La Alemana. One kilometer. Already running some German music here. a nice experience. There are a lot of uh, homemade food. So many pickled, pickled jars. So I'm on my way now to this next city where I can hopefully find a store that sells me some good tools. Okay, I just bought these wrenches from this guy here in this white car. They're asking where I can can eat well here. He said, yeah, just follow me, I'll show you the center and there you'll find a lot of nice restaurants where you can eat pretty well. Acá derechito te vas a sacar al pleno centro. Sí. ¿Está? Tenés cuidado con las cosas, ¿eh? Ok. Toda la ciudad. Toda la no ciudad. No de vista tus cosas. Ok, ok. Porque si no, acá hay muchos con dueño de los genes. Ah, ok, ok. Hay que prestar atención. No sí. Es que no dejes tus cosas solas, tenerlas siempre a la vista. Sí, 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 voy a hacer. Sí. 
Ok, bueno. Acá te va, acá te va, te va a soltar a 5, 6, 7, 8 restaurantes. ¿Estamos? Bueno. Bueno, pero suerte. Muchas gracias. Que te hacen muy bien. Y bueno, llevate la mejor impresión. <risa> bueno, ser. Vamos, Chao. Gracias. Ok. So. Told me to really take care of my belongings. Nobody steals anything. All right, we'll do. You have got a piece of Napolitano. Decent. It's here right in front of the restaurant. Yo, nice. They have all these structures here, so many of them. Concordia. Okay, I found a space. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to stay here, but a bit sneaky. Park my bike here behind the bush. I'm gonna set my tent up. Good morning. Put yesterday good morning because this night was terrible for real. My air mattress is leaking air somewhere and I'm already sleeping on the ground. Touching the ground with my body. It's getting really cold. Alright, despite having a terrible night, I have to go to Buenos Aires. I'm excited. It's a nice view over here. Right in the middle of it. As soon as you get near to Buenos Aires, the streets get full. Really full. It's probably the biggest city I've ever driven in. And I'm not even in the center yet. What is going on? I really like it. Make the city pretty here. Man, look at all these sculptures. These trees. I did not think that it would look that nice, really. Buenos Aires is also called the Paris of South America and I kind of get it finally. I mean you see these big circuits in in France, in Paris. This looks like Buenos Aires for me. Yeah. Trees in every street here. It's so nice. It adds so much to the beauty of the city. Pure shade because of these high buildings. I got myself a little room in a hostel, but it was kind of cheap. I guess you get what you pay for, and it's really not the cleanliest room I've been in. Like the sheets for example, they have stains already. I had some hairs on my cover. Yeah, I'm happy. I don't have to pay much and it works out. It's still better than a tent. Today I'm going to meet my friend now. And we're meeting at Obelisk and I'm really excited about what it looks like there. I'm just going here to these alleys with these giant huge buildings here. It's crazy man. A lot of people probably pretty normal. They come from a big city, so for me, yo, and then the structure of the buildings, uh, how they are built, that looks so nice. Okay, I think it's right here around the corner. Let's see. Yo, there it is, let's go. I've met my friend, this Camilla. Hola. Yeah, and now we decided to get a coffee, and we're already looking for a lot of places, and they all booked out or something, and we're wandering around the city, but now we hope we find a Starbucks around here. And it's closed. Nice. Okay, we got some media lunas here and a coffee and she got some toast. And this is a typical merienda. See. See? And that's something what the Argentinians eat around See. late at six, late afternoon snack. Uh, before dinner. Okay, I just got this merienda with Camilla. It was pretty nice. Um, it's really not 
that much and not the full meal, but it's, it's a nice snack in the evening, late evening. I come here, I know it's left, but she forgot her jacket in the panaderia in the, in the bakery and I'm just going to get it for her. There's something happening everywhere here. So lovely. They're lovely. I've got to say, when there are thousands of people around me, it's actually way easier to vlog and it's not that cringe from me. It's actually such a nice feeling right now, I can't describe it. I feel like a child in this city because it's so amazing being here. So vibrant and colors. So much happening everywhere. Right, mission accomplished. I got the sweater. Here. This is another side of Buenos Aires. I see really a lot of people that are homeless men. Just living on the streets, don't have anything. That's it for today's exploration of Buenos Aires. I'll be staying here for a few more days, so stay tuned for the next episode. I'll be diving deeper into the city's culture, food and attractions. See ya!